<laughs> How spooky. Hi guys, it's me, your fanboy, and today we're playing Haunted PS1 Demo Disc? Is that the title? I'm not super sure. I know it's something like that. Um, and ooh, the, the music. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm going to turn on the volume a little bit. So basically, um, this is a collection of little games that have a very sort of like PS1 retro -y feel, which I think is so cool. I distinctively wanted to play a game this month that had a bit more of a retro feel to it, and a friend told me, oh, sorry, <laughs> I hit my microphone. A friend told me I should try this game, and I've never done anything about it. I just know that it has a collection of games, and I have no kind of games they are. They, I thought they might be horror, they might not. Who knows? So let us try, um, ooh, killer. Now I will say, it's a little hard to read that font, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty, I love how, ooh, I love how old it looks. I never had a PS1, I'm sorry. So this probably, um, I don't, it probably looked like this. I bet money it probably had this sort of aesthetic to it. Let's do killer bees. Oh, oh, so that's how you change the, oh, I love that, that's how you change the, the games. Okay, so we'll play a couple, because I don't know how long each game is. Um, ooh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I wonder if all these games were made by the same person. What's your killer bees? Ooh, okay, so, description? The found footage from the killer bees case has been leaked online. You can witness what the officials hid for all these years, strictly 18 plus. Okay, ooh, okay, so that the game looks like? It looks kind of like a first person shooter. So, play. Let me play the game! Huh. I pressed play, but I didn't do anything. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh, maybe I had to load it! I, I thought the game crashed! Sorry! Um, is it gonna crash? <laughs> um, oh boy. Okay, awesome. Okay, so um, we're back in. Um, I thought the game maybe crashed. Um, but it doesn't look like it, although it looks like it's buffering a little bit. Okay, it says, oh, how cool! Okay, let's do easy mode. Um, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. It reminds me that I did have a VH VHS tape. So let's do VHS. Um, oh, let's do VHS. I want to do VHS. Let's do tape one. How cool! Okay, so that's what I thought. I had a little mini heart attack. I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to crash, it's going to freeze, and I was like, oh my goodness. It looks like it's just taking a little bit to load the little parts. So I gotta be patient, I think. Gotta be patient. That's fine. I'm pretty sure back then the games probably took a while to load anyway. Um, and the style of it is so cool that I'm willing to... Ooh! Wow. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Did I move with Waz? Yes, I do. Ooh. Oh, the lag. Okay. Oh, a little more lag. Okay. Um, I didn't know this game was so um, had so much graphics um, memory it needed. That didn't make sense. I thought. I mean, I didn't know it was that strenuous to my computer. This looks so cool. What's that Japanese thing in the top right mean? I don't know. Um, ooh, this is like a legit scary game. So is this like. Oh, what's that? What's this little object? I can't. Hmm. I can't tell. Multi low res. This looks so fucking cool. I wish more games had this kind of aesthetic to it. Because I always love, 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 love this. I always wanted to make, I mean, back I, when I was really young, I wanted to be a director. You back, and back then I thought being a director meant you write the movies. Oh. Did Creek who? Did I make it Creek? Oh. I definitely wanted to play a scary game, um, and um, I knew that if I played Slender, it was already been too taken. But I've always wanted to play Slender, so maybe I'll do it next year. Um, but as I, what was I saying? I was saying, oh, okay, I remember. So basically, I thought that I went to, would make a movie that was kind of like this, like a horror movie that had a very retro VHS aesthetic, like it's being played on a VHS. Um, I wonder, should I be doing anything, or is it just kind of like a walking simulator? Is it kind of like PT? Um, very cool though. Doesn't look like I have any other buns besides just Waz. Um, probably should check to see if I need any buns besides that first though, but I love just looking in all of this because this aesthetic is so, oh, and our creek. I wonder if that's me. 
or the killer V's. Ooh, I wonder why it's called killer V's. Probably figure it out. Um, huh. Ooh, I love, 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 love that creek. Uh, very scary. Ooh. I wonder if there's gonna be a jump scare. <laughs> I don't do very good with jump scares. And I can imagine it being a jump scare. I definitely bet a lot of PS1 horror games. If there were, were there even any horror games on the PS1? Um, I bet if there was, they probably did use jump scares. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, the bees! Not the bees! Not the bees! Can I run faster? Oh, no, not the bees! They're behind me! <laughs> I can hear them! They're buzz, buzz, buzzing! Oh, no, they got it! Do I have health? Okay, just walk through the bees. I don't think I could just walk through the bees. Um, I'm gonna, uh, let's see. They're not doing anything. Or are they? That little bar up there isn't doing anything. That lady's just moaning in a very sexual way. Um, it doesn't look like it can be. Oh, I can run! I think. Yeah, I think this is running. Oh my gosh, I have it on so low. Oh, is that health? Oh no, that's, oh, I'm so dumb. That's my stamina. So what, oh. Oh my gosh, look how scary. Ooh. Wait, am I back to the beginning of the map? Huh, I think I am. Yes, I am. Um, oh gosh, at least I know how to sprint. That's cool. You know another game I really wanted to play that's been, I think, done to death a little bit? But I want to play it so bad is that SCP game, because I love SCPs, or at least I used to. Um, I followed a couple of vlogs, the vlogs, YouTube channels recently that cover SCP things in like a very spooky way, and I love, love, love it. Just the creativity of some people is, I just, it's just so fun that people can contribute to something like that. I really, really, really like it. So um, maybe I'll play the SCP game because it has a lot of SCP. So I wonder which ones I would recognize. Um, so I wonder if, is it just I have to get past the bees? Or is it like, huh? Because the bees were, and is there health? Or can, or did the bees not hurt me? Because I didn't think the bees, were, I mean, I don't think I have a health bar. Oh, oh! Speaking of which, I think if I did have a health bar, I just ran out. Game over. That's pretty fun. I liked it. Oh, it's, this is so fucking retro. Um, okay. So, ooh, there's a lady. This game contains disturbing images and gore. Yeah, yeah. So, um, there's a go This one was made for the... Couldn't read that. I'm so oh, the bees! Killer bees. They were pretty killer. They did kill me, so. Um, oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. That's so cool looking. I bet, like, it probably doesn't, for people who don't like that aesthetic, I bet this is, won't be that cool looking. But I just thought it was really cool. Um, I think that if I could, I maybe might try a different game. Um, let's see. How do I get out? Do I just press the escape button? Hey, we're back! Okay. So, um, we did Killer Bees. I love that tasty ramen. That doesn't seem that scary. Um, let's try tasty ramen. I guess not everything is hard base. Oh, I got a little itchy. Um, I think this is really cool, though. Um, so I press play, and it doesn't seem... It may not have to wait for it to load. Maybe it's loading. Um... So is that what the game looks like? It definitely looks like very- ooh! Looks like very tasty ramen. Um, ooh, I can't wait to try it. That looks fun. Let's see, what does the description say? A colorful horror game about a haunted ramen mascot. Oh, how cool! Ooh! Okay, so it's tasty ramen. Hot horror flavor. So I realized that every time I press the play button, it would open just another one up. I'm hoping that's... And so I bet when I was playing for Killer Bees, I saw there was like 12 of them pulled up. So I'm hoping that now that I close them, the game will run a little better. 
Let's see. Dot, dot, dot. What buttons do I have to press? Oh, E. Oh, hey, welcome to Tasty Ramen. Just a quick explanation. You can run while you can place them, pressing the left. Remember items that. One last thing, if you. That's it, let's go. <laughs> I think I missed some of those letters. Oh, how cool. Okay, what's this? Is this a key? Ooh. So it looks like, do I need to put the keys in here to escape? Yes, okay, so do I need to collect the keys? Possibly, oh, here's another key. Can I have this key? Thank you. Do, do, do. Yeah, the game's running way better, so maybe that's it. Um, ooh, can I pick up the ramen? Oh. Hi, oh, you're cute. You want some ramen? You want some ramen? Go get it. Oh, okay, so maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch, Dragon! Yeah, that, that was actually kind of scary. Okay, yeah, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it, I get you. So I think it's kind of like I have to collect the keys and try not to get eaten by that nasty lad. Um, let's see. I love this. Oh, no, it's him. So maybe I have to use ramen to lure him away? That could make sense. So there's a key right there. Where is he? I'm gonna throw it just over there just to make sure. Oh, you can hear his little footsteps. Okay, so I have to sneak. I can hear him crunching and munching. So then, right there, where is he? You get some ramen just to make sure. I don't even know if I'm playing this game right. Uh oh. Okay, so I just gotta get some just. Oh, there's another key. Let's throw it out over there. Oh. Okay, I can. Oh, 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 I see him. Oh. Okay, gotta sneak around, gotta sneak around. Okay, can I run? Kinda, I think. Run, 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 run. <laughs> okay, I have to get another thing of ramen. I gotta probably distract him. You can see, here's those squeaky shoes, which helps. Oh, no, 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 no! Here, here, can you take the ramen, take the ramen, take the ramen, take the ramen. Take the ramen, don't, no, 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 Oh, I'm not gonna be able to eat ramen anymore. Um, this one's fun. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing you use the ramen to distract the the nasty ramen man. Um, and you try not to get caught. Uh oh. There he is. Okay. Okay, okay. Good, good. Um, I wonder if I can carry two objects at once. Like, can I carry a key and some ramen? Okay, now key down. Oh yeah, I forgot this key. That was like a gimme right at the beginning. Oh no 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 no! I think you already saw me. Go get it. Oh, I got caught. That one's fun. I like that one. The so far tasty one's my favorite. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll try another one. Oh, ignore, ignore, ignore that. Okay, so. Let's go back to another game. Let's try another one. These are fun! Effigy. Now that looks scary. Um, so what's the description of this game? Explore an abandoned prison moon that has been overrun by a cult of former inmates. Ooh, it's an FPS too. Ooh, how fun! Okay, so last time it took a little bit for the game to um, start up. So I'll be right back. And we can play some moon shooters. No, that's a terrible joke. Why I say that? I'm sorry, it's late. It's really late. Um, oh. Okay. Um, let's see. Input, control, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, screen, sure thing. Let's try all of that. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe it won't take that long. Um, that joke was so bad I tried to make that I'm just going to maybe just let it go. Um, and I'll chill with you. Are you excited for Halloween? Oh my gosh, you don't take that long. It's a work in progress. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Oh. Oh. Oh! I see the UI. It's taking a little bit. It's shagging. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Give it a second. Oh! What was I saying? Um, oh! Never mind. Ooh, look at this. I got my little gun. 
<laughs> I'm so traumatized by that ramen game. I keep expecting her like that. Quicker, 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 quicker. Is that cultist? Speak. You, a traveler. Yes, you have the scent of a foreign world on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, smell that before? I have once another traveler. When? I cannot say. All blurs together now, like soup. <laughs> As you see that one, I cannot help. I am sorry. If she went that way through valley, she probably did. Prison on top of mountain. Prison on top of mountain. Prisoners put on masks. Start killing. Was that before or after? I'm sorry. Very soupy. Point is the other one probably dead. Oh, but maybe you go too. You get dead too. Then it will be like finding her. Everyone happy. Glad I helped. Goodbye. Thank you. Can I shoot you? Yes, but I didn't do anything. Okay, cool. Valley of the Faithful. This is cool. It has like a little bit of a story behind it. This looks fun. Like if it was finished, I'd probably like legit play it at some point. Um, so basically, is this just like a normal FPS? I go to shoot bad boys. Um, find a way to power the elevator. Oh, place it, remove power orb. Can I take one of these power orbs? No. So I'm guessing I have to find an entirely different power orb somewhere. Let's see. So it's time to find a power orb. Oh no! Oh, oh, I got hit! No, bad! Leave, leave! Shoo, 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 shoo! Oh, great. Uh, is that a power orb? Oh, you just reload pressing that button. That's nice. Oh! Did I restore some health? I think so. Oh, oh! Bad, bad! A shoo, 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 shoo! A shoo, shoo, shoo! I'm lying with you! Okay, I think that's restoring some health. Ooh, is someone in there? Someone in here? Okay. Oh, yes, there is, yes, there is. Okay, gosh. Okay, grind. Got you in the grind. Okay, gotcha. Did you drop? You didn't even drop anything. Aw. So what do I do if I run out of ammo? That seems like it's probably a bad time. Can I go through here? I don't think so. Um, I love the aesthetic of this one, too. It looks very cool. Very retro. Um... What's that? Is that a power orb? A vessel core fresh and glowing blue liquid. This will restore some of your health. You have limited refill uses. Refill the flask and alter to gain more. Great, how do I use it? Um You know what? I probably should have read the instructions. Whoopsie! Uh do 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 Oh no! Bad, bad, die, die, die. Oh Picked up thir 50 energy and ammo. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no, 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 please leave me alone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll leave, I'll leave. Oh, I think that's what this- Oh god, okay, so there's one with a gun. Oh, and then there's one with a little- with a, Oh, he also has a gun! I thought he had like a- like a- a, a, a bat or something. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, look at me, I'm like a, a fucking quick shot over here. This is light ammo, energy ammo. Does that mean I could get more weapons? Yes! Okay, so- I just scrolled, and so this is probably what I have if I run out of ammo. Makes sense. Oh, can I pick that up? What is that? Can I have it? Guess not. Um, this game's cool. I like it. It's not super spooky. This power- Oh, there's a power orb! Okay, so I have to go back and put it into that one spot. <laughs> Remove the power orb. It's losing its charge. Oh, I gotta put it in fast. Like that. Great. Can I use the elevator now? Yes! Woo! I'm doing good! I mean, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm probably doing terrible. I don't even know how to pick up objects yet. Um, I like this game a lot, though. It's very cool. I like how all three games are kind of different. I feel bad, because I bet that Killer Bees game is better than I thought it was. It just was laggy, because I had, like, a bunch of them open at the same time. And all that good mumbo-jumbo. Oh! There's some nasty men. I wonder if I can hit them from here. Yes! Away with you! Oh! 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 Oh no, 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 please go away! Go away, go away, go away, please, please, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. I'll, I'll look, I'll pay you money, I'll pay you money. Um, I have no money. I legit have negative money on my bank account right now. But I'll fix that. <laughs> I do! I, it's just because I actually got, you know, one of the, some of those, like, those charges, like, for. I think it's Disney Plus. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no, 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 I can't get. Oh! Uh, did I respond? Okay, I respond. I respond back at this this boy. Um, but yeah, I ran out. My um, Disney Plus basically made it, so now I have negative three dollars in my bank account. No, don't leave without me. Uh, 
I have like negative three dollars, so that's okay. Um, I am getting paid on OnlyFans tomorrow. Um, not to brag, but I have some money on OnlyFans. I requested um, some of it since I had around twenty. Um, oh God, I'm bad at this. I had around twenty bucks, so I'll just use that to help pay for it. And plus, I'm getting paid with my legit job later this week. Um, that's true. I don't just sell pictures of my booty on Twitter. No, -uh. I actually don't even sell pictures of my booty on Twitter. You kind of just get a look at it for free, which is pretty nice, I think. Um, do, 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 do. So there were a lot of bad, bad boys um, over there. A lot of them. So I'm going to have to be careful. Maybe draw some out and shoot them. Oh, their corpses are so. Oh, I'm sliding down. That's kind of neat. Okay, so. Okay, so I see a couple in the. Oh, oh, oh. The ones with the guns scare me because it, because they could just. Oh, although I, I can kind of do the old zigzagaroo, the old razzmatazz, and get out of their way. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. No, no, no. Die, die, die. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> I got some light ammo, and I got some shells. Um, and if I go up there, I could probably go whatever they got, which I can't go up there. <laughs> There's probably some stairs. Uh, do, 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 boo, boo. Oh, is there no stairs? Can I double jump? That's a no, sir. Okay, well, I'm sure I could get there at some point later. Um, do, do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thankfully, he just has, um, a little, what's like a poleaxe? Definitely, it's a melee, he has a melee weapon. So he's, they're not as bad because I can shoot him from far away, but oh, this is so pretty with all that blue light. Let me re reload real quick. Oh, what was that sound? Oh my gosh, they have a weapon. Uh, can I, oh, I was going to 420 sco no scope him. Oh, no, 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 please, please, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, shh, shh, it's okay, go to bed, go to bed, shh, it's okay, go sleep, go sleep. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm saying great a lot. I'm sorry. I almost never say great when I'm playing games. That's very weird. Maybe that's what I say when I get into FPS mode. Okay. Was that all of them? Got some light ammo. Oh my god, I fell! Oh god, can I get back up? Possibly? Yes, okay. I don't know if you're even meant to be able to jump back up. I j is there... Oh, I was going to ask, is there fall damage? But I almost just... Re found out myself. Um, ooh, okay. I wonder if there's like some sort of like ancient secret. Like it says there seems to be lore in this game. Like there's like legit um, like history and like story in it. I wonder if there is like some sort of big like evil eldritch demon you have to defeat that the cultist summoned or something like that. What's this? Double jump. Oh my god, a double jump! Wait, how did I do it? Oh, why did I get- Oh, oh, I was wondering, why did I get hurt? Was the, was the double jumping hurting me? Okay, so you just kind of press it twice. Awesome! Now, where was the health I got a while back? I forget. It wasn't there, but I don't know if I'm going to jump down, all the way down there. Because that would take a while like, to um, come back up. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! I just that was a minor decoration. I think it looks great. Uh, uh oh! Uh oh! Oh 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 oh! Oh, please, please, please. I want to. So I wonder what if I could get more different types of guns later. Oh! 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 No! Oh! I have to start from the beginning. Here, this time, let's try an axe run. Let's try just smash their heads in. This might be the last run. Because I maybe want to try at least one more game before I call it. Ah! <laughs> Sorry! I want to play at least one more game before I call it a night. Um, but yeah, I definitely. And there's so many games on here. Um, I'd love to try all of them at some point. Um, so yeah, maybe either. I always wait till next Halloween though. Maybe if you guys like this, I can always try it like later. Uh, maybe make a little tiny series out of it. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, so, because I already do have a series with Crown Tundra, but I was going to have a series based on Cyberpunk when that came out, but because of some delays, now I have to wait till. At least I keep the power ups. And now I have to wait till December 10th, which that sucks. I, but I understand. I would rather them wait 
and um, really pump out something amazing than having to rush it out. Um, so, because there's a lot of games I love that I think really need that extra couple months um, to just like really spice it up, and I'm happy Cyberpunk's doing that. Now, I don't usually like Project Red games, like I'm not a fan of The Witcher, um, but this has a character creator and I love the whole aesthetic of Cyberpunk in general, so I'm really excited to see where it goes. Also, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm kind of just hoping I'm going on the right trail. Oh. Your legs look kind of jank, buddy, but ooh, damn it. <laughs> um, okay, do do do. I think I was around here when I died last time. Yeah, I was about to be decoration. <laughs> oh, no, ow. No, leave. Go away. Ooh. So, so far so good. What's in this box? Oh, I got some shells. Neat. Oh, uh, boo boo. I might have to do some parkour. <laughs> Oh, no, no, that was not a fire core at all. Thankfully, they make it easy to get back. Oh, oh. oh no, I'm sorry. This is like a new area, though. I'm, it's very slidey, which is kind of neat. Oh, axe battle. Oh, oh. Oh, come on, come on, you, come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't really know who I'm hitting. I'm just like juking and jiving and slashing. Which is kind of just a good way to live life, TBH. So, huh. So this is, did they say it was on the moon? Maybe that's why we we shouldn't go to the moon, because they have cultists on it. I have very low health, by the way. I hope I get, um, someone drops some, because, ooh boy. What? Oh, <laughs> the camera moved all the way up, and I thought I died, which would be very weird. So is this what the moon looks like? Possibly, I've never been there. Uh, do do. It's this is a very cool game. I really like it. Do do. And so far, it's not that spooky. Maybe I'll just try because I was gonna play them in order, but I didn't realize how many games there are. So, ma oh my god, we just went all the way around. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not annoyed. I'm just, I'm kind of mad at myself. Um, so, at least I have a, the sprint's pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize there's so many games. I thought it was just like, going to be like, a, like one or two. Um, so, there's a lot though, which is really cool. And they all seem to be pretty different from each other. Which is very, very neato. I do wonder, maybe they are made by different people. Sorry, got scratchy my eye. No, it's probably not too good to do. Ooh. You know, like, sometimes when you just take your contacts out and, like, you're, it just feels so good to just rub and scratch your eye like crazy. I didn't do that. I haven't worn contacts today. But that's how good it felt. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm going in circles. I'm always really bad at games that don't tell me where to go because I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> Ah, oh, stupid, I'm a dummy. Um, it's, and see, dummy sounds cuter than being stupid. Let's see. So I know over there it leads to somewhere, so I have to get over there, I think. Do -do. I can't believe Halloween is almost here. It's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to celebrate Halloween like I wanted to. Um, my family's been kind of sick recently, and um, I, I've been really low on with money. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to have like a little party I went to. I mean, I can still have a party. And even if we don't dress up or anything, we can still have a lot of fun, I think. I've at least been watching tons of Halloween movies. Oh my gosh! I did it! Ow! Wait. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to call this one a quit for the day. I'm going to call it quits! Oh! Let me leave. The other game is just let me press the escape button and it works. This one won't. So, be right. Okay, so that one was fun. But now we need to find a. Oh, and Tool Big Light looks spooky. Oh, to a Moon also looks spooky. Sauna 2000? Not super spooky. Dread Illusion? Possibly spooky? Filth, filth Breed? Possibly. Erasure? I have no idea. Heartworm? That sounds kind of scary. A Place Forbidden? Fatum Butella. Dead Heat. Orange. I think we've already looked at all. Alright, we already did this whole shtick. Um, I think. 
Uh, this one looks scary until Big Light. Ode to a Moon also looks scary. Um, Dread Illusion looks scary. Felthbury looks fine. Um, I think I'll, the Heart Room just is something that sounds, sounds kind of scary about it. And plus Body Horror, especially with Parasite, scared me really bad. Let me find out what's about. Sam receives a strange tape in the mail. Watching it brings her to a deeply unsettling place that feels strangely familiar. Sure, why not? Let's do Heart Worm. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load this one. Um, it's like cool. I like it. There's so many neat little things in this game. And also, you could probably spend like a whole day just playing through and trying to beat all of them. And not doing terrible like me. That's just with games in general. Um, that's what I like about YouTube is you don't have to be good at games to do Let's Plays. Lots of my favorite YouTubers actually, they aren't even that great at games. But they just like to do Let's Plays because they're fun. Um, oh. I fucking love this music too. It's very vibey. Great! Okay, a game by Vincent Adenol. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, sorry, buddy, I didn't see your name. Oh! Now, I can hear the, the demo and this music playing at the same time. So let's just assume it's like a remix. Um. I know. I can't dance. I'm a little white boy. What do you expect? I could basic. I could. Well, my dancing basically just involves me shaking my hips. Um, and I can't. You would think, oh, is that the main character? Is this Sam? Oh, whoa. This says flip control is kind of weird. Are these tank controls? I don't know what tank controls are, but I used to watch this two best friends a lot. Two best friends play. And whenever they play games that looks like this, um, they said tank controls, and I'm assuming that that means this is what this is. Cool, can I explore? I'm not hungry. Oh, so you press A to interact with stuff. Why wish I could have a cool tattoo like that on my leg? That'd be neat. Can I go through that door? Even though I know that some people like these controls, man, are they really busting. Oh, I don't need to use the bathroom. They're really just busting my chops right now. Um, do I have to go through this door? I haven't left the apartment. That's not going to change now. Okay, so I, can I go to bed? Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm going to be walking on my bed. Uh, oh gosh. So I'm guessing I just have to kind of investigate and try and figure out what's where. Huh. Oh, clinic, cl clinician's evaluation. Uh... Mm -hmm. Subject, Sam, redacted, 23-year-old female. She's a year, well, she's two years older than me. Average height, weight, not like me. Uh, no relevant medical history. Patient report insomnia, same. Recording intrusive thoughts related to self-harm, harm to others. Pro yeah. Uh, low self-esteem, oh yeah. Obsessive tendencies, uh-huh. Episodes of panic and high baseline anxiety, not really, but we're 7 out of 10. We're mostly the same. Patient described these symptoms as chronic and varying in severity, possibly related to traumatic events from childhood. Patient also mentioned sexual relationships, suffering as a result of the symptoms. Observation, preliminary labs return normal. Heart rate and blood pressure elevated. Patient avoid eye contact and appeared anxious. She only spoke when, qu when query. Patient appeared detached, brought by with thoughts. The following diagnoses are based on currently available information may change as additional information is available. Post-traumatic stress disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, anxiety disorder, specified major defensive disorder, Panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder. Need to gather more information. Patient refers to a psychiatrist for further evaluation and urge to follow up a clinic in seven days. Patient encouraged to research culture therapy. Well, that's neat. Oh. <gasps> it's a tape! Ooh. Can I take a look at it? I do kind of like the animation with the tank controls because it does feel kind of realistic. Which is cool. Oh, I can run too! Okay, can I pick up that tape? I picked up the VHS tape. Oh, is there a TV? I probably gotta play it. Okay, so yes, there is. Okay, so she have a VHS. She does have a VHS player. I'm gonna tape and let's see what's on it. Let's just see, shall we? I. She wants to choke like me too. I'm not wearing it now. I'm in comfy mode. Um, it's very cold in here. I probably should be wearing something a little heavier than just a night for Christmas tea. If I gotta wear it, it's spooky. Uh. Oh, so I'm just jamming. This music's great. If it's on Spotify, I'd probably add to my playlist. Uh, white. The scariest of colors. 
Oh, do you remember? I actually don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is cool, though. Very neat. Oh, do I have to go in here? What's this sort of childhood trauma that is in it? What? Because you guys call heartworm, right? Maybe she was abused by a heartworm. I hear they're not very nice. Let's see, this side? Yes. Woo! Okay, let's see. Oh, this place does not look great. This wall is covered. This wall is covered in deep scratches. That's not good. Oh, look at her. She's cute. Look, okay, I hear, hear the music kind of conflicting with each other. Um, okay, so I can't go that way. Can I go this way? I'm guessing since I can run, something's probably going to chase me. Um, but who knows? Maybe not. Maybe she just... Ooh, that's a cool angle. It's like a... Is that a Dutch angle? My fr my sister... A handful of nonfiction novels. Nothing particularly. My sister, she loves um, directing, so she knows all about those different angles and stuff, and she hates Dutch angles. TV will turn off. There's a VHS player. There's no tape in it. So if I find another tape, maybe I have to put it in this VHS player. Ooh, spooky pixels. <laughs> oh, hallucinations as trauma-based memory. Implications for psychological interventions. Um, routine information processing involves a process called contextual integration, whereby detailed coding of incoming stimuli takes place, which facilitates later memory recall. For example, being able to remember who was at your birthday by recalling a full contextual image of the event. Also being able to remember what happened before and after a specific event due to integration of relevant temporal information. However, during a traumatic event, the need for a quick behavioral response requires rapid information processing. This is achieved through a temporary decrease in contextual integration and quick response based on basic perceptual processing. So many words! That's fine, that's fine. The revision of a rough response to danger has the consequences of a vulnerability to experience intrusive memories of the stressful event at a future date. The reduced contextual processing of the trauma stimuli makes them difficult to recall on a voluntary basis due to the lack of integration, which cues which normally facilitate recall. However, the information is typically triggered involuntarily by stimuli, which have a perceptual match to some aspects of the traumatic event, e.g., a sound or a visual stimuli that invoke memory of the event. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, so many words. Here, I'm gonna beatbox it. Therefore, within the, these, that's terrible, never mind. <laughs> Therefore, within these memories, reduce levels of contextual integration, which can be essential to the development of trauma related and intrusive memories. Therefore, the introductions may be maintained through a number of cognitive behavioral processes and avoidance in order to develop presentation of PTSD. However, there will be diagnosed with PTSD. The individual or the cl 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 clinician is likely to be confident that the intrusions are, in fact, memories of a stressful event. Number of pages destroyed. Yeah. Um, it's, sorry, my throat's dry now. In summary, the relationship between learning voices, hearing voices, seeing visions, and traumatic events continue to intrigue, intrigue, intrude, um, clinical researchers. However, a full theor theoretical understanding remains elusive. Some group of voices and visions which are directly linked to stressful events are likely to be responsive to interventions which are based on well-developed theoretical understanding of reaction to trauma! I'm guessing that's exposition, but I don't know. I, as we said earlier, I'm a dummy. What's this painting of? The, re oh. the requisite creepy painting in the weird old house. No surprises here. Kind of looks a little bit like the Cowardly Lion. That might just be me. Probably is me. Um, can I go th through this door now? I unlocked it. Great. She kind of looks like Brian Mulko. Maybe it's just the hair. Do do. So did we already go through here? Yes, I think so. So maybe we have to go back outside. Maybe now that we read the note, we it, like triggered something. Um, who knows? Let's see, we're back outside in the rain. Oh, there's an upstairs! Maybe I need to go to the upstairs. Let's go find the upstairs. I'm guessing- Oh! I'm so stupid! There's a staircase right there! Oh, but I can't go up it. Looks like there's some stuff up there. Guess, never mind. That's so stupid. So let's check outside. Oh, there's like a little back house. Oh, it's like, a, is this like the garage? The garage? Can I open it? Or is this probably the garage door won't budge? The opening is too small to crawl through. It's look pretty skinny though. You'll probably do it. It's locked. Well, shucks. 
Ooh, that thunder is really. What's? Is that like one of the cellar doors? It looks like some kind of hatch. The door won't budge. That's. That looks real fucking scary. Does anyone actually have those? I mean, I just. I've only ever really lived in Indian. Indiana and California, so maybe some places do. Um. I wonder if there's actually any heartworms in this game. That's just such a scary term. Heartworms. Oh, do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember? Question mark? Do do boo boo boo. Yeah, probably, she probably, the event is probably something. I bet it's probably knowing horror movies. What's that red light? I'm gonna investigate. Do you remember? Do 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 boo. Now that song stuck in my head. Thank you, heartworm. That's a very creepy light. It's in the backyard, so I head back over there. We're going to investigate it. If it's not over there, I wonder what I'm missing. I'm always terrible at these kind of games. I These are not my, usually my kind of games at all. But I, it's very neat. I want to try something different. Oh, can I open this door? The gate is locked. A chain and padlock are wrapped around the handle. Guess not. Is there like a key? Maybe I could check inside and see maybe like a cupboard if there's a key. Let's see. It's like in the sink. That'd be kind of creepy if it's in the sink. You know, this house wouldn't look too bad if it wasn't like, look like a haunted house. <laughs> well, at least if it was a little bit in better condition. Do, 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 do. There's scary music from in the house. I wonder if there's something that's going to jump out and scare. I love that angle though. That looks really cool. Even though my sister hates Dutch angles, I think they look really neat. I bet that's even a Dutch angle, I'm just being stupid. Uh, so I can't go up there. Can I get that thing on the desk? No, I don't think so. Uh, we already went that way. And we already- Oh, is that a key? That's a key! Oh, give me the key. Give me- I picked up the key. Okay, so I'm guessing that goes to- Now, where would it go to? I don't know whether it's- I think it's the- that- Oh gosh, where's the exit? Um, how'd I get in through here? Oh boy, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see. Oh god. I'll just go through one of the exits and hopefully come out the other side. Oh, is it this one? Possibly? Let's try it. So definitely I think that key will go set really creepy um, the space back there in the backyard where that red light is. So we definitely can investigate that because that looks very scary. I'm very curious as to what that could be. It seems like she could spread for a very long time. I mean, look at those legs. Like, she probably could. Uh, okay, the gate is unlocked. A chain and padlock are wrapped around the handle. Oh, it says it's, it's locked? And I can't use the key. Maybe it does go to this little cellar place. Possibly? Let's see. It looks like some kind of hatch. The doors won't budge. Hmm. Was there anything else that was locked? Oh, now my bean is all messed up. Was there something inside the house? Gosh, my brain wasn't meant for games like this. Hmm. Oh, I saw my thighs. That's what that sound was. Um... I really want- there's more books than I would know what to do with. One of them is missing. Huh! Oh! Wasn't there a missing book over here? Can I pick it up now that I know that it's missing? I have to get closer. A handful of non-fiction novels. Nothing particularly interesting. Yeah, but what about that thing in the middle right there where the couch is? Or can I not get it? I'm confused. I don't know. Loves, I am confuzzled. Um, I feel bad. I'm gonna just quit. But I've probably been recorded for almost an hour. 
Oh god, I could- Oh, I could equip the key! A spell key, the key- Oh, it's for the girl- I'm such a fucking idiot! <laughs> Sorry! Okay, so it's for the garage. Um, do 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 I completely forgot about the garage. Let's see, it's over here. The garage door won't budge. The opening is- Oh, right, this door. I left with the garage key! Okay, awesome! Probably should check that first. Oh, there's a, there's a book up there! I wonder if that's the missing book. Oh, that's a lot of VHSs. Um, can I play one of them? Uh, the, probably not any of those, since they're all bunched together. Wow, someone really likes VHS. Oh, oh god, more text! I'm just gonna let you read it, because there's a lot of text. Um, I'm gonna have a drink. Oh, my that's so parched. Uh, I'm sure this is all exposition. We've heard that we shot her to do. Press the woman after the whom the master shares beautiful Madonna is ready to well or die. It'll go on shimmering and then. That's great, buddy. Sorry. I feel terrible because I really want to give this game the respect all the respect it deserves. Um, but it's just like it's like so late at night over here. And um, oh! Oh I could run up there! Wait, I thought I could, didn't I? Or was I a glitch? Hey, that was a glitch. Oh god, how do I get... Um, yeah, because those are boxes. How do I get up there? Oh god, I don't know. Can I at least open the garage? Oh, it's... Oh yeah, I just read that book. Don't want to read it again. Um, because there's definitely a book up there. Hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh, I, can, I can move backwards? Oh, right, S. Yes, yeah. Oh, look at she's like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. Is there a ladder I could use? Oh. I really don't know. I feel like such an idiot that I don't know. Obviously the garage has to do something because they gave you a key for it. But I don't see um, any sort of ladder or anything I could get up there. I am stooped. Hmm. I love it. Okay, so I try to look up a guide for it and I couldn't find one. Um, and mostly because I <laughs> it's terrible right now at home. Um, but I think I'll leave this on here. If you guys want me to finish Heartworm, I would love to try it. Um, I just definitely need to go into it in, in with that brain setting, like, okay, I'm going to solve a mystery. Because I, I was accepting that. Probably not a very fun place to end it, but I'm sorry. Maybe I'll do a second part, because this was really fun. I just don't want to stretch the time too long, you know? But, okay. I love you. I love you. And I want to rub you, too. Love you. And...